Flyer reaches back, bends the knees, comes into back leaf. Hooking the toes. This is a Dhanurasana variation. This helps to open up the thighs along with the rest of the spine. The base can do little pulsations. Transitioning back to Dhanurasana. Free Dhanurasana. Letting gravity open up the spine. Preparing for Urva Mukha Hippie Twist. Same technique for the base as Hippie Twist. Flyer's orientation is different. Feet are turned out in foot position one. And the thumbs are doing a lot of really nice work between the scapula and the spine. Flyer is as relaxed as possible. Flyer reaches for the base's ankles, lifts the chin, comes to a straddle back. Base adjusts the feet, feet parallel. Flyer comes to Bhadakanasana. Shoulder palming. There's two main ways you can do bat therapeutics, and this is one with the knees bent. It creates a little massage chair. It lowers the partner down so you can use your forearms. A lot of what we do in this practice is letting the legs steer the flyer's body weight over the hands. From here you can do some upper back release work by bending the knees, guiding weight down, doing some bounces, and the fingers are pushing up. There's a point of support with the hands and a point of freedom with the bouncing. Allowing gravity to reset the patterns in the spine. Working the fingers all the way down towards the neck. Lifted Jarlandara. Here you want to cup the hands in a butterfly, create length. For yogis and flexible people, it's possible you can straighten your arms. People with less flexibility, just keep checking in. It's a very strong pose. On the way down, you can give some massage to the neck. Whenever you're working with the neck, be slow, tender, and gentle. Every time the muscles relax, the spine gains length. From here, we transition to the shins, hooking the feet for a floating Buddha dismount. Counterbalancing and landing. <laughs> 